Hello everyone, welcome to R2, and today we're going to be uh, making a paint game like this. So, we have a pencil tool and an eraser tool, and the black, we can draw with black, and we can just change color and draw. The other feature is, we can change the pen size, so we can make it 10, or it goes up to 30. So we can color the screen as well so yeah and the eraser is just erases everything so I'm gonna be showing you how to make this there's also a dark mode button but we're, uh, I'm not gonna be showing you this today so yeah let's get started so first off we can get rid of the scratch cat because we don't need it and we can have our empty empty sprite our invisible sprite uh, and then in that in the code we put when the green flag is clicked so we have uh, to erase everything of course so let's get the pen uh, the pen extension first you can do that by clicking this button and getting pen and first we can erase everything and then go to mouse pointer forever go to mouse pointer right now, right now if you're on the code it will just be nothing because of course the sprite is blank and if mouse is down so if mouse down well we actually need an if else statement like this uh so if mouse is down then the pen we put pen down if if not pen up so we can basically draw right now you can have this as a draw game but of course this is very boring you can't change anything and it's just plain drawing you can't even erase uh stuff so yeah we need to add on so next we can start by adding the pen size thing so how we do that is uh well we can get rid of the default variable and have a pen size uh, variable and then you want the slider thing so we can change right click on the variable and then change it to a slider you can keep it anywhere you want I'll keep it uh, in the bottom left and here it goes up to 100 by default uh, but you want it to go until how, how much ever you want I'll make it go up to 30 so change slider range and then here you can change it so minimum value 1 and maximum value will be 30 so now it only goes up to 30 and the minimum is 1 so this is perfect for us uh, we also need a variable called color and we can make the color a large readout thing and I'll put it right in the top left and because here's where we're gonna have the buttons uh, to change the color like we have over here so let's start making the buttons so the button will be basically just whatever color you want so you can i'm not gonna make as many colors as i have here of course you can make them yourself uh you can press shift so that the the shape is proportionate and not just distorted circle it should be a perfect circle so that it looks nicer it's pretty big let me make it smaller and yeah so a trick is to first put the code inside so when green flag clicked you can just set the color to red and well we can name the sprites uh, draw we can name the sprite so that's easier and we can just keep duplicating this uh, to and then change it change the value uh, to change the color so green 
we can make this green and I'll be it you see that the circle is like not a perfect circle that's because scratch has this weird thing when it just clips off some parts of the sprite uh, it didn't used to happen before but it's been happening a lot recently so well I'll the solution to this is just to make an invisible uh, square around it. Don't make it too big, otherwise uh, it won't. Well, it might cause more problems. But yeah, you can do it like that, like a mini, a mini invisible thing around it. And yeah, that will avoid clipping, as you can see right here. So you can continue and make it for all colors. I'll be making it for two more colors. Uh, let's make yellow. Yeah, this thing happens, so the solution to it is to just click the circle and then make it go to the front. And then we can color the sprite. Yep. It's kind of greenish yellow. Let's make it a little more yellow. Yeah, okay. And let's make orange. And then we can start doing some more coding. Uh, so I'm gonna just place them here. Right here I have like a lot of colors. But I'm obviously not gonna make all of them. Because it's just gonna take too much time. Let me just label these. Yellow. And orange. So yeah. Why is this weirdly named red? Okay. So we can continue. So for this we can put it as green. This we can put it as yellow. And for this we can put it as well orange. So now we're going to continue with the code for the draw so we're gonna have a lot of if statements in a forever loop so when clicked forever uh it sets pen size well first we need to do the set pen size thing we made the variable but we didn't uh we didn't really pair it with the code and now if the color if color so if color equals to red or green oops or yellow or orange then it's gonna set the pen color to red so red so there's so there's many shades of red you want the exact shade so you need to go to this you can click on it then in the fill color, you can just check what shade you have. I have 0, 100, 100. You should put it the same. So 0, 100, 100. And for green, you should do the same. Whatever color you have, you should check the color first. Otherwise, the color that prints will be different than the color you actually want. 2900, 100. So here we also put it as 2900, 100. Uh, so for this yellow, let's see what shade it has. It has 1800. So in the code, we also set it as 18, 100, 100. For orange, it's 1300, 100. So we can go ahead and do that. So yeah. By default, uh, never mind. So we need the draw button, the pencil and the eraser button. 
So let's just make a quick pencil. I, I'm not sure if it already there. I hope it is. Yeah, there is. I'm gonna use the same one as we had there. Let's make this smaller. Uh, still pretty big, but I'll let. Yeah, it's okay for now. For eraser, I don't think we have a sprite, so I'm just gonna draw a quick eraser. Uh, it'll look very bad, but uh, I'm not trying to make the sprites look good right now. So let's make a quick eraser. This is like the cover of the thing. The cover of the eraser. Yeah, this is the eraser we have for now. Looks very uh, big and stuff, but then uh, we're not trying to make the sprites look good, so it's okay. And when when the sprite is clicked, wait, we did or something? Yeah, we did it wrong. We need to do when the sprite is clicked. Yeah, sorry guys, I I messed up. We need to put these as when the sprite is clicked. Okay, and now for this when the sprite is clicked, we we set the color. Yeah, we can just set the color to red. I'll put the color red as default. You can put it as any color. And for eraser, Put it as white because well you'd want to erase it but then so it's the same thing as making it the same color as the background so we just make the color white so set color to white now here we can continue the if statement and put if uh, we already have the red statement so you don't need to do anything for that if color equals to white and we set it to white which will be zero zero and a hundred and that will be that should work now now orange we can is this orange or yellow yeah why is it always yellow i think we didn't change it for orange yeah we didn't change it for orange orange is 13 so should work now let's try it in full screen and erasing let's put the eraser big yeah it works so yeah this will be your simple paint game you can of course add more colors these are very few colors and you can make uh your sprites look better and also add more stuff like more tools paintbrush tool or like spray tool and stuff and also dark mode like i added over here uh so yeah that'll be it for this video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful then please like the video and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye